Hey, fam, fam, how's it going, guys? You already know, Coach Paul. Coming back at you guys with another Trainer Tip Tuesday. All right, for today's Trainer Tip Tuesday, let's talk about some kettlebells. Partic particularly, let me slow that one down, all right? Particularly, the kettlebell front rack squat, okay? So that front rack squats are right front rack. We're gonna put it in the front here. Now, always with any type of squat, fam, you always wanna make sure your legs are properly warm and primed there. All right, so get some body weight squats to help, you know, prime the legs up, some hip openers, or we call them Walmarts, right? Those soldier kicks, hey, those help out with our legs there too, okay? Just kind of get that mind ready for those squats, right? Because you have to warm up before you do anything, all right, fam? So really make sure you warm up properly before doing any squats. I know you warm up before uh, boot camp, but in case any instance you're not performing any squats inside boot camp in the session, okay? So always make sure the legs are nice and prime and warm. Now, Let's go into the specifics of our kettlebell front squats. So, with these front rack squats here, you guys are gonna have two. I'm gonna show you with one, all right? So, you see that rack. Now, when you're grabbing that kettlebell, always safely squatting, pick it up. Now, when you flip this kettlebell around, for all intents and purposes, get just a little bit closer there. All right, mind my bands here, but you're gonna rest it right there in front of that wrist. Now, wrist has to be straight as possible as well. Once you do that, you lock it in, and you notice my hands more towards the outside of that uh, of the horn there. Okay, make sure I'm gonna be there. Now, you wanna rest it just slightly. You raise that elbow up to where this kettlebell is not only resting on your wrist, but also resting on the front side of that shoulder, so that helps take care of the support issue there, okay? So now, let me go ahead and grab both, and let me perform the same thing here. I'm gonna flip them around and I'm gonna rack them right in front. Now they're resting against my elbow, oh, my uh, wrist and my shoulder. You see that contact there? Must keep that contact. Now, nice and tall with that upper body. Yes, hips are slightly back already through that squat. Check it out from that side. Make sure that those feet are aligned there. Now you're gonna really sit back, imaginary chair, keep my eyes up, chest up, weight in those heels, driving up through those heels and squeezing the glutes at the top. Now, as you notice, they're not fully locked out like so. That is bad on the knees, but lots of tension on the knees, particularly that patella, the front of that kneecap. So make sure always a soft bend, feel those quads engaged, feel the glutes engaged. Now, breathe in, deep breath, and breathe it out. Now, we talk about that breathing technique, right? We say it all the time, right? And nose out mouth, and nose out mouth. It's so important that you use that on a squat, deadlift, press, curl, whatever it may be. But for this exercise, particularly, okay, you gotta make sure you really brace that core. So now I like to give the cue, if you think about it, think about your submerging underneath water, all right? So if I use that cue, or I pick up my kettlebells, I flip them. I rack my weights up here, I got that front rack position, slight bend those knees. Now, again, think about that deep breath. I'm gonna push my belly out, embrace that core. And then, halfway up, breathe it out. So use that breathing in technique. Right there, to keep that core tight, to brace that core and as well to protect that spine. Now if you notice at the bottom of the squat here, I'm not overarching my lower back, I'm sending my weight towards my heels, center of gravity, if they lift down these kettlebells, they are directly in line with my arches. And always again, fam, remember, keep that slight bend in those knees. Now, let's go back to that uh, submerging underwater uh, talk right there real quick. So when we say brace, now with the squat, it's a little bit different. Now, when we, Talk about bracing it. Think about if someone's about to punch you in the stomach. If someone's ever punched you in the stomach, just pretend, right? If you know you're about to get hit, what do you do? You, you, you kind of tighten up, right? Want to brace? Uh, if you don't, you might want to. <laughs> it kind of helps take on some of the brunt of the force there and not as much ener energy is transferred into that hit. Uh, but get a off topic there. When you brace that core, okay, from this front view, you, you want to push your stomach out, okay? You may not see, but I'm pushing out when my core is contracted. So when you see that from the side of you, now I'm contracted, I'm braced, I'm pushing out. You wanna push out, but create that tension in your belly. 
So when you're squatting down, you're gonna feel that core, the duration of that squat. Again, you should be able to push out. So you wanna think about it, we talk about obliques, right? Or we, we do, when we're doing our alternating heel tap, uh, heel tap crunches there, some side planks. Uh, so obliques are gonna be the side of that core, right? So when you're doing this squat, you wanna make sure that you're pushing out through those obliques where you feel these muscles tighten up, almost like your belly's about to pop out. When you do that again, all that does is reinforce the idea of a safe neutral spine. So watch it. Brace. I breathe in. I breathe out. All right, simple as that, fam, simple as that. Now, can I can't express the knuckle as well. You wanna make sure you keep this front back position. So what that does is, it starts to lock in these lats back here. And that's great to keep that stabilization. Stabilization is meaning we're stable and strong. It's not gonna move, it stays in place. Now remember the other common cues though, as well. Feet about shoulder width apart. Now again, one more time on these squats there. Make sure shoulder width apart. You get them over on top of the wrist. Make sure wrists are straight, they're not back here. You see a lot of common uh, mistakes doing this number, as well as just coming straight down forward. If you see this from the side view, Think of all the bad angles that are going on here. Knees are going past, I'm bringing forward there, come up, and you're gonna feel that slightly lower back. Fix that. Elbows in the front. What I like to do is sometimes interlock these hands right here so I know that we are racked and it's pushed up against the front of my body here. So that way this is supporting that set of weight. Again, that brace. And then that exhale, driving through again. Those heels, little feet there, keep it even. Uh, distribution with your weight on those feet there, tripod stance. Um, yeah, fam, that should be about, that should about cover it. Core is tight, elbows high, not back, in front, rest that kettlebell on that uh, wrist, front that shoulder, brace that core, submerge in the water, exhale as you're coming out, explode up fast as you can. All right, that's another thing I wanna talk about. Make sure you're performing these squats though. That when we're coming up, it's not slow and steady. No, you want to one, two, three, fast as you can. Bring them up, change your body, a power, explosiveness there, okay, fam? So I hope this helps out with some kettlebell front back squats. If you really want to keep that lower back safe, keep those elbows up, okay? Do not bring them back. Another thing as well, when I said brace that core, you push that belly out, front squats or front rack squats are really, really great to not only involve the front of your legs here, those quadriceps there, and the back of your uh, back half there, you know, those glutes, all right, aka the booty, all right, but also it does help stabilize that core. So if you want a really ripped midsection or just flat, embrace these squats, brace that core. It does wonders because you have to stabilize it at top position as you squat down and sit it down to the upright position, all right, fam? Again, hope that helps you out. Kettlebell front right squats there. Try it out. See what you think there, fam. Oh, that better have gotten.